Hi, I'm Chris Cohen, the longtime Skipper Boys track coach here at Minnetonka High School. It's my honor to talk to you about Will Lear and his induction into the Skipper Hall of Fame. I first met Will when he was a sophomore in the back gym where we were starting our first day of practice that year. And uh, Will comes up to me and he says, hey coach, um, I'm a soccer player. Uh, I'm not interested in really running in any track meets. I just want to work out with the team to get faster and in better shape. And I'm like, okay, yeah, whatever. I mean, fine with me. So didn't think much about it. Get down there later for practice and we're doing the workout and I see him running around that first lap and I'm like, this guy's going to be good. I looked at the other coach and I say, hey, we, we got to see if we can talk him into running in meets. Hi, I am Jeff Renlin and I also had the absolute privilege of coaching Will Lear during his senior year at Minnetonka High School in cross country and in track during his 2002-2003 season. My memories of Will are of a wide-eyed, multi-talented Renaissance individual who was a natural leader to his teammates and a rare and gifted runner on those Tonka teams. I happily remember him breaking the school record in the 1600 meters in 416 at the conference meet at Hopkins in only his second attempt at the distance. In that race, I especially remember how coachable he was and his poise and his ability to run his best when it counted the most. I remember when it was time for him to choose what event to qualify to state for at sections. He did not hesitate to choose qualifying in the 4x800 meter relay with his three other teammates over the individual 1600 meter event, which he had a chance to win because he wanted more of his teammates to go with him to state. That was just Will being pointedly honest, unselfish, and a team guy as always. I always remember his strong family support system, his parents Chuck and Mary Lear, his brother Max, and other family and friends always in his and the team's corner. As a top middle distance runner in the state in high school and also a solid student, Will had many college opportunities knocking at his door. And true to his character, he decided to pass up on going to more serious running schools. And he chose a school that fit him academically first and foremost, Pomona Pitzer College in California. At Pomona, he became a four-time NCAA Division III national champion in track in his four years earning a degree in mathematics, becoming the only male Division III runner ever to win both the 1500 and 5K title in the same meet. After college, Will decided to give professional running a shot, moving on to the Oregon Track Club in Eugene. He continued to improve and thrive as a runner, eventually earning a sponsorship with Nike, which is extremely hard to come by in the sport where the average lifespan is probably only about four years or less for these top national runners. Will has shown amazing consistency and durability and has been going strong for nine years now, making the national finals in the 1500 meters for an incredible eight years in a row. Also for pulling off the indoor national championships double win in the mile and the 3K in 2013. On top of all of this, he won the world prestigious Wanamaker mile the Milrose Games in New York City, the Morton Games Mile in Ireland, and the Deca Nations International Meet 1500 meters in France, which has made him world-renowned in the sport of track and field, and getting his mile time down to 3 minutes and 51 seconds. Amazingly, he has broken the 4-minute mile, or 1500 meter equivalent, well more than 50 times in his career so far. His character and natural leadership abilities were rewarded in 2014 in being elected by his teammates Team USA track captain at the World Relay Games in Jamaica. His accomplishments and commitment to this sport have been absolutely incredible to watch over the years. And equal to all this, I remember his generosity the most as he has continued to come and visit, mentor, and inspire our current cross country and track team members. Congratulations, Will, for being inducted in the Minnetonka High School Hall of Fame. It is so well deserved, and there are so many that are proud of you. My heart just keeps racing, um, thinking of those races in high school. Man, we had some really fun times, and I was so fortunate. Um, I would have run up here, except I had surgery two weeks ago, and so the most I can do is walk aggressively at the current moment in time. Um, many thanks to the Minnetonka Alumni Association for this award. It's a true honor, and congratulations absolutely from the bottom of my heart to all the other award winners tonight. You guys are very, very impressive individuals indeed. Um, as pretty much everyone has come up here and said, uh, we are honored and humbled um, to be receiving these awards. 
just hearing my coach, Jeff Renland, uh, speak that way about me, it just blows my mind that it's been 12 years since I graduated and also that I still have this incredibly supportive team. I grew up playing team sports, uh, baseball, basketball, soccer. As Jeff just alluded to, I relish the opportunity to always give my best for the success of the team. And this is exactly how I fell in love with track and field. Coach Cohn hit the nail on the head that I was not interested in competing when I first stepped on the track. But um, in my sophomore year, going out for the track team, the three senior captains at the time, uh, one of whom was also my captain on the soccer team, Andy Major, Andy Shelp, and Joey Owen, uh, they took me under their wing. Together we made up the 4 by 800 meter relay team and the 4 by 400 meter relay. From my first race at the University of Minnesota Fieldhouse, I was absolutely hooked, even though I spent 30 minutes afterwards um, tasting my lunch again in the trash bin. <laughs> the camaraderie was powerful and addicting, and the rush of adrenaline when I was going to receive that baton was unlike anything I'd ever felt in any sport. Most people think of running as an individual event where the spotlight is shown on a single man or woman after a heroic, solitary effort. However, behind every great track and field performance, there is a team. And now I feel very, very lucky to be able to thank a few of my team members who are here today. First of all, my parents. It goes without saying that without you, I would not be here, and that's just science. Thank you for encouraging me to follow my heart and more than metaphorically chase my dreams. Thank you also for reminding me that there is more to life than winning. Mom, thank you for passing on to me your passion and your ferocious work effort. Dad, thank you for your wisdom and your guidance. Thank you for being my number one fan and being there even when I try and tell you not to be which has happened on many occasions. <laughs> Grandma, can you hear me? <laughs> I love you. <laughs> Grandma, you are the most competitive, unwaveringly supportive, and harshly critical <laughs> fan in any grandstand you occupy. Every single one of your grandchildren is lucky to have you. Here is a little known fact to those of you in the crowd. Butter and sugar are incredibly powerful sources of nutri nutrition to runners. <laughs> Grandma's cookies have been a pillar of my nutrition plan since high school. And look at me now. <laughs> I love you dearly, Grandma. To my high school coaches. Coach Cohn, as your name tag should properly read, I think coach is his first name. Your love for track and field is contagious. You recognized something special in all of us and encouraged us to test our limits. You rallied us as a team and taught us to compete for one another. I will never forget those lessons or your ever digressing pep talks. Rennie, the timing of your return to Minnetonka could not have been better. I arrived, you arrived, just as I was ready to make the shift from sprinter to quote unquote distance runner, from a boy to a slightly more mature boy. You taught me to love the process of training, that being in the outdoors and reaching for breath after a hard hill workout was in fact fun. Still trying to learn that. I haven't met another person in the world who loves running and knows as much about its history as you. Your passion for running rubs off on all of your athletes and truly is the reason I'm here today. To both you and Coach Cohn, your support through every step of my career has been paramount. How many other athletes in America have had both of their high school coaches come and support them at the Olympic trials? I don't know a single one. Minnetonki, Minnetonka was lucky to have you and from all your athletes over the years, Thank you very much. Last but not least, Aisha. 
my girlfriend. You are the captain of my team and undoubtedly its most beautiful member. <laughs> That's just science also. <laughs> We've traveled the world together and I look forward to all of our adventures in the future. The next stop for Team Lear is Rio 2016. Thank you.